it's just uh, more information on, t on to when I saw the soul when I was seven years old and when I came to be safe when I was 18. It's just a typical day when I was seven, watching The Simpsons, where the episode on where Bart keeps good to sell his soul to, to the uh, Satan who was Flanders. And every time he'd say something he wanted in it, and Marge would put it, stop bothering me. It was at the moment I didn't realise what I was going to say. I ended up selling my soul. Then I was joking about it, and my mum would cut in and says, Craig, don't say that. I says, I, I don't. I says, Mom, I'm only joking. She goes, even so, you should never say it. I must have said it about six times, laughing, just having a joke at the time before my mum uh, realised what I was saying. But, until a day later, it weren't till things started to change, I didn't know. But it weren't till the one night I actually noticed how things started to turn upside down in the reality of the damage that I had let into my life. It was at night time I was trying to sleep, and my leg levitated by itself on its own accord. Nothing I'd done, nothing in the room. And I realised something was very hard and something weren't right. I told my mum, she thought nothing of it, she said she was just dreaming. As she closed the door, and within five minutes later, I seen a black figure appear at my bedside, right to the bottom of the uh, footpost, shouting to my mum yet again. She comes in, ten minutes later, phones up a pasta, uh, before at the time. I was I don't know what was going on. Came down, blessed the he prayed for me. I ended up praying to God. And for years on, my life had just changed. It went until I was actually 18 that we realised that I was demon possessed. This had happened because I, I was listening to about how Jesus went down to hell to collect the keys of death and the grave. I ended up spacing out, fitting. And as I come round, I started speaking dynamic tongues when my eyes had turned black and my features had changed. You could tell there was a lot of anger, a lot of hatred, and a lot of evil. I went to go out the door, but within the five minutes of opening, I stopped and collapsed. Without me realising, my mum had found my auntie. She explained what the situation was and what was going on. And the guy in touch with Calvin Young at Mountain Church, Aston in Birmingham, UK. In case you may have been watching. I had to come up at night time without knowing what was going on. My two brothers had come down and I was with my ex-girlfriend, girlfriend at the time. And I felt very strange and odd. And it worked me to be the excited, what I would call it, being excited. Went to my mum, collapsed, fitted. Next thing you know, demons started to show up again. Ran out the door and I went to kill my, the first person I seen, which was my brother. But somebody had stopped me when I collapsed. Past days. By the time I come back around, my, my brother was really nervous about what was inside of me. As we went up uh, on the night time, you could see the switching between the, the demons and myself, the changing of the features of his face, I was turning black in the fit. Past day, by the time I got to my aunt. I must have, from my aunt, it must have been around about 8 o'clock I got to the church at night. And they came out around about half ten. While I was in there, I took the hand of a pastor and thought I recognised. Past day, I was carried upstairs and a day uh, sat around in a circle. I sat there shivering all over in fear. But it wasn't me who was scared, it was the demons. I had to do a sin confession, confess my sins to God and name each single one of them. As this was going on, it was hard for me to do, but the will was strong to, to commit, to say what I needed to say and to confess. I'd done a sinner's prayer, and after I'd done a sinner's prayer, they cast it out the demons. Not one by one, so that they would talk and state what they were, but they grouped them up and cast them out. I realised it must have been six or seven demons casted out that night. My two brothers had got saved. My youngest brother had the spirit casted out of him.
as he tried to confess the name of Jesus as Lord, as he struggled, he eventually come through and said, Jesus is Lord. My brother, my oldest brother, I then, untouched, just calm, relaxed, but crying. No spirit in him, no demons. He was prophesied over that first starting with me, that I'd be a healing deliverer and that God would use me. With my brother, it'd be to win the youth. My oldest one, he'd be ministering about the second coming of Jesus Christ. And if you're just watching this, and if you're wondering if Jesus is real, take the time and search your heart, because there's a hole in there that you must be trying to fill. And it is said that Jesus came to die for every sin of man, not just for man, but for the world, so that we might be reconciled with God and have everlasting life. Thank you. Amen.